Hello, I'm Entrylis, and we're back in Rimworld Needs Booze, and a third of our colony are broken and wandering around. Hopefully not bleeding. Good, just heat stroke. Serious, oh god. Um. Ah. Fuck you. Initial. Can't really do much about that, so... Unless I lock them in, like, the freezer, which I'm not intending to do. I could. But they'd probably, you know, freeze to death. Starvation. Kyle and Bishtor. Well, Kyle's broken. Fish on the other hand, I can do something about. And it looks like he's actually going to sort it himself. Who is my cooking expert? Fish door. Who is not broken. Good. And I believe I'm actually going to upgrade everyone doing the uh, growing, because at the moment no one's, no one's doing it. Actually, Fish door should do cooking. Uh, still doing cooking fun. Good. Okay. Six. Six should be doing. I was living food, okay. What's Bishtor doing? Butchering, okay. David, terrible mood. I can't do much about that, David. You're always a bit of a bugger in this one. Uh, let's look at your thoughts. Extremely hot. Well, go stand in. Oh, you're going there. Seeking safe temperature. Oh, that's cool. And then it will happen again. Hopefully Bish Tool will keep that infection on the check. The temperature outside is 44 degrees C. Gotta say, it's a little bit hot. Severe illness. Krieger. Ooh. Heat stroke extreme. I could turn these on. I have to build, like, doors really quick. Structure. How much wood do I have? I have basically no wood. Okay. Uh, what else do I have that I... Ah, oh, it's probably going to be metal, isn't it? Fine. Let's go with the steel auto door, then. One. Two. And that should allow me to turn these back on again. And instantly I want people on, on the job. Sig. Work on it. Who's nearest? Uh, Kyle. I mean, I know you just got back, but... We have to work on it. We need that prisoner alive. Fish door. Can you work on that? Yeah. Toggle power. Toggle power. Please, someone... Someone toggle power. Come on, Sig. Can you do the other one? Can we not do the other one? Okay, it's already been claimed. What's the temperature in here now? 30 degrees. Heat stroke minor. Oh, there we go. Oh. People are feeling a lot better now. Kane's pretty injured. Bit of rest and a bit of, you know, healing will sort that. Bish Tor, let's look at your injury. It's a major infection, but we are up to... Oh my god, only 38% immunity. This looks like it's probably going to be the end for Bish Tor. I... I don't think we can... I'm going to order you to rest. I don't think we'll be able to save them. Oh, we need a new turret as well. Architect. Security. Yeah, we lost that one in the last fight, so put a new turret in. This is still, you know, in progress. We keep an eye on Bishtor's health. Food poisoning! Well, that was a great job. And it's 53. 
I do have my concerns about Bishtar. I want him to live. He's been a, a pretty useful uh, asset so far. I mean, you know, he's a great person as well, obviously. Uh, I mean, as much as I trash talk some of Bishtar's uh, abilities to not do basically anything, he's a great grower, he's a great researcher, he does construction, and he can fight a little bit, at least a little bit. And he can cook. And he can do some medicine. And Carl's broken again. If I can move people, you know, permanently indoors, or at least until I can get this uh, called, it's not much we can do. Terrible mood. Kane. Why? Why are you in terrible mood? Is it because of the temperature outside? Can't be. Thoughts. Observe corpse and hungry. Well, has no one been doing any cooking? Like, seriously. Why are people not doing cooking? Oh, because Bishtor's resting. <laughs> Bishtor's in charge of the cooking. Uh, okay, well, this is my question. Everyone's on Growing Duty 1, Cooking Duty 1. I don't care what your job is. Growing Duty 1, Cooking Duty 1. That's how it is from now on. At least it's something. What's this? David's broken. Can't really do much about that. There we go. At least they're doing something about this now. Fish tour. Health. Major. You're up to 81%. Sewing an area. Yeah, but you should probably get back to, you know, work. Rest. Rest and heal. Kane's still complaining. Got two people broken. I'm hoping that when we get more food, they'll come on side again. Severe illness. Fish tour. Extreme. But I think we're going to make it. We're up to 93%. 93% there we go. Immunity. We should make it. We're really suffering for food. Like, really suffering. I think we'll regrow this using rice. Because that grows very quickly. I've, uh, so I've been told by the comment section. Bishtor! Welcome back, Bishtor. It was a pretty close call there, but you managed to make it. Right. Bishtor, you're the one who loves cooking, right? Yeah, cooking nine. There we go. Uh, I'm also going to make these onto fours. There we go. Hopefully that'll, uh, that'll work. Right, it's two days growth. 1.7 potatoes, okay. I don't know how long this is going to hold us. We really don't have much food. We really don't have much food. Like, look at that. And it's David's eating food. No, stop consuming the potatoes. All the potatoes. Are these rotten? They're rotting. We could butcher them. I think we'll allow human butchery. I think we're going to have to go with human meat. And it's going to piss people off. But if we then turn it into solid green with the nutrient dispenser, we might have a chance. The question is, do we have that research? I don't think we do. We do. Yay. Okay. Well, I could put it in here temporarily and just demolish it later. Because what it needs is it needs its own, uh, you know, cooled area. I could put it like that. Yeah, let's do that. It means temporarily venting all the air in here, but whatever. Put it like that, then put the uh, the things at the back. That'd work a charm. Okay. So we did delete uh, one, two, three. Okay. So deconstruct. I'm 
gonna do this pretty quick. A lot of things hang in the balance here, guys, so, you know, toot sweet, please. Toodle pip. Those potatoes won't hold us for long. One more. There we go. Bam. You can paste dispenser. Three hoppers. Orders, zones, zone, delete zone. Oh, it's already done. Okay, cool. Kyle. Kyle. Ka God damn it, Kyle. Fish tour. Okay, who's working on it then? Sig? Good. Right, okay. Tell me someone's working on it. Butcher table. Bill. Allow stranger corpses. Allow human corpse. Fish tour. Work on the nutrient paste dispenser. Needs to be done. Continue working on the nutrient paste dispenser. Don't go to sleep until it's done. Right. Are you configured to hold... All raw food? It looks like it's all raw food. Good. What about raw resources? Okay, just that. Manufactured... Let's just check. It's got human meat. Human meat. There we go. It has got human meat checked. Good. Human meat. Human meat. Human meat. In fact, if we disallow human meat from in here, it should go just into here. Actually, we raise the importance of this to critical. There we go. That way, human meat will always go in there first. Just to check, I don't want any human meat in my cooking. It's disallowed. Good. So this should mean that human meat goes into the butchery table, which will take a small hit from cooking human meat. I don't think it stacks, so it will just be a small penalty. And I think fish store is fairly resilient uh, to thoughts. There we go. It'll go into there. And they'll be placed in there, or will be placed in there immediately. Because this is critical, and this is not. Even if it does get placed in there, it won't go into our cooking, because it won't be allowed for cooking. Right, cool. And the temperature in there is good. Fish tour, please tell me you can butcher... Oh my god, they're all... They're all rotting. I can't butcher them, they're all rotting! I need... I need someone to eat. I need something to eat. We need... Screw it. Start hunting. I mean, it's probably getting someone's eye ripped out, but... Order. Hunt. We need more camels. The problem is they were fairly tasty and disappeared fairly quickly. I don't want to eat our prisoner, but that is certainly one thing we could do. Not that we're gonna. But we could. I can't see anything, so... I'm just gonna start box selecting. There we go, that was a... Bug. Bugs don't have much in them. Nothing there. A couple more bugs there. Bugs are particularly dangerous as well. So we get some things there. We're going to just hope they do well. Also, who is my hunter? David and Sig. At least they've both got ranged weaponry. And I'm going to take everyone else off. And I'm going to risk it. I'm going to put a sun lamp outside. And it might, you know, burn and die, but I need it for that, you know, sweet, sweet boost it'll give us.
terrible mood. Who is it this time? David. David, just stop, right? You can't hunt. You can't hit anything for Toffee. Just give up. We'll do the sun lamp thing. You're starving, I know. So is everyone else. Did you just break? You just broke. Well done. You're starving and you're broken. Fine. I get it. There's not much we can do. Fish talk. Is there anyone to talk to? No. The people passing by. I mean, if they were coming in here, I might butcher them. You know, eat them. But they're just passing by. What's their gear like? the SMG. We could eat them. We could eat them. They are just passing by though. It would be too hard to kill them. Yeah, I'm never going to be able to catch them. It's fine. We're going to have to accept that. We're just going to have to hold out. I mean, it's going to make people very unhappy. People are going to starve. But it looks like we're, you know, one day away from this green grown, especially the sun lamp. So, provided it doesn't rain, which it shouldn't, we might be in. In the meantime, let's put the temperature things in, which is a cooler. I said a cooler, thank you. One, two, three. Oh, I'm missing a power section. Done. And we're nearly done. Very nearly done. David... What? David died? What? How did David die that quickly? David was important. David did something. I don't know what David did, but David did something important. He'll be missed. God damn it! Another person bites the uh, bites the dust. Please join me, Weaver person. Please join me. I'm sorry, David. <gasps> Yay! We have a successful recruit. I'm sorry, David. I feel so bad. But at least we've got a recruit. I mean, not that it really helps. I was. Kyle's dead. Do people just drop dead instantly from starvation? Like, I thought the HP had to hit zero. If it has to, if it's just a random chance of dying, uh, once you get to like half on your HP bar, that's kind of, I'll be honest, that's, that's really bad. Because it gives you no feedback for when it's going to happen. I do not like that. Why is it a thing? Uh, we've lost two people now. Kyle and David are dead. Uh, that's bull. That is absolutely bull. I hate that. I don't know what... I swear that I was watching... Like, I'm watching the health right now. They're all... Ikira just died! Starved to death. With above half HP. No. No, 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 no. 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 That is a terrible mechanic. That is a terrible mechanic. Oh my god, no no visual feedback, that's the problem. That's the reason you have a HP bar. Uh, and I know, you know, your health is something different to your, uh, you know, starvation. And to be honest, people can survive quite a long time without food. Uh, but there should be visual feedback of every single condition, including starvation. Uh, and this is the reason why you have a HP bar. This... We're going to see more people dropping dead now. Yeah, Kane just starved to death. Okay, so uh, I'm actually going to call it here for this entire series. Um, we were turning it around, and then this bullshit... I'm going to say it, it was bullshit. Really bad mechanic. Really bad. No visual feedback instantly. Four of our guys are dead. Um, within the space of 30 seconds. Yeah, I, I really don't just like that. 
Right, well, I, I'm actually really pissed right now. So, I'm just going to wrap it up here. We're actually over time anyway. Uh, this has been RimWorld Needs Booze. Frankly, we managed to just about survive teetering on the brink of death for about 20 episodes. Uh, then we started to take off and then we were instantly killed by the fact that people just instant die. Uh, when they get starvation, despite the fact they don't actually feel ill enough to, you know, stop moving, uh, be incapacitated, like there is a thing for in-game, you know, that, that doesn't happen to them with starvation. Uh, neither do they get, you know, ill enough that, you know, they can get shot to death with, you know, particularly fast because their HP doesn't drop. They literally just keel over and die like a heart attack. Uh, that's not how starvation works in real life. Uh, apparently that's how it works in-game. I doesn't make sense on a realistic scale and doesn't make sense on a feedback scale. And over half our colony are dead. Uh, and frankly, I am not going to come back from three people again. It was annoying enough to begin with. We're going to call this colony a failure, and we're going to move on. And by move on, I mean I'm going to go have a lie down. Because, my God. Stay shiny.